Mary goes in a hurry to visit Elizabeth. A long journey, 80 miles. Why the hurry? Of course, Mary was eager to help her cousin Elizabeth in her need to support her. There could be something more. I wonder what must have been going on in the mind of Mary, having heard what the angel told her. Mary wanted to find out, I suppose, whether what the angel told me and told about Elizabeth was going to come true. It is something the angel said unimaginable, never heard of. Difficult to believe. Then the angel told Mary, your cousin is Elizabeth in her old age. She's in her sixth month. Oh, I'll go and find out now. Even now there she is, Elizabeth, singing the praises of Mary. And there is John dancing with the joy, welcoming the Messiah. And Mary, her heart, sings the praises of God. Dear friends, psychologists say our mind is by default focus on sad things or bad things or the negatives. By default, somehow, if you look at the headline, there are always sensational news or some bad news to get the attention. Because good news is never good news. So we have to reprogram our mind to see, always look for the hand of God everywhere, the good news everywhere. In our own personal life too, let us train our mind to think more about the blessings. In the midst of the aches and pains of body and mind, think of in the midst of all, think about the, the blessings you have. How many ways, look back to the past and say, oh, how many ways the Lord has been very good to me. Count your blessings every morning, every evening, even when, we, when you feel sad or when you feel under the weather or Whatever is happening, always try to think about the blessings God has given to you. Then you will find there's always a song in your heart and a dance in your steps.